Hello everybody, Roscoe here and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program and the, for for us in the UK this is day one or it has been the first full day of the lockdown uh, so yeah I'll just class this down it's week one of the lockdown and uh, yeah now finally sitting down after being at work being a key worker uh, now sitting down got a nice drink ready to play some Kerb uh, get some videos done so that in our time of boredom, when Netflix has run out of stuff to watch and all the rest of it, we can just rattle into it and watch some of Roscoe's videos. What better way, eh? What better way? So I'll start off by looking through the messages I got in the last episode. And uh, obviously Kim has uh, put a lot more information in there. Um, so let me just spin this around. I don't know what I'm looking at. What the hell is it? There's some insight there. Okay, so uh, most of my comments were concerning your launches. Really, all you need to do is improve your launches and your life will be so much better. And I should not criticise a newbie fumbling around. I was the same. And if you want to get better, I can't recommend Scott Manley enough. His tutorials are the best out there. He takes his time when uh, where you need it and tends not to repeat stuff ne unnecessarily. So yeah, I mean, I, I, I have been away or aware of Scott Manley for many years playing this game. Like I say, back in the day when this first came out, you, it was just pretty much slapping rockets together and flying out to the moon. And then it started adding all the rest of the different layers and different planets and the moons for those different planets and it just kind of spiralled out from there. And uh, do you know what was something that back in those days I was I was good, but you could straight off the bat you were able to put manoeuvre nodes and all the rest of that. And now on the campaign kind of level, you're limited to what you can actually uh, do from the very start. So what I'm going to do now is just while I'm talking, I'm just going to go quickly into the uh, the vehicle, uh, the rocket place in order to tweak one of my designs. Uh, which was a Mun Explorer, I believe. So, um, Kim also said that the Terry engine thing was a joke. At one point, you took out the Terror to look for another, uh, another something better. Eventually, you found it the Terry engine. You took it out and put it back in. You later on replaced even that. Sometimes I can be an asshole. And yes, have fun. Listen, Kim, mate, I have no qualms or anything like that. I'm. I am a beginner. I am definitely still a beginner at this, and yeah, your advice and criticism, uh, if anything, encourages me to do much better. Um, and that's half the fun of these kind of games. And like you said, yeah, just have fun, and that's all it is. Just having fun and shooting the breeze with all the guys that are putting comments in the videos. Um, that's what it is. It's, that's what it's all about. Um, didn't you just do a, need a, fl a month flyby? No, I've already done the month flyby. Uh, what I need to do now is land on it. So if I look at the quick way, look at the mission contracts that I've got here, I need to bring a month stone back from the month back, take pressure means above. Uh, I've, I'm sure is it? That's Kevin. Sorry. Explore the month. So I need to orbit, orbit, and then return. Oh. Oh shit, I did not realise I had that. And right, I tell you what. What's no funny about then? What's no funny about we putting landers and all the rest of it? Let's see if we can get. Let's get around there. So, what was I finding the worst part? I can get up to the moon. What's the weight difference on these? I'm just thinking maybe we could. I'm just going for a brainwave here. Let's revert. No. Let's see. Yeah, let's take this bottom section off. Let's scratch. Scratch all this. And then what we'll do is we'll put in a. The P entry. Put this thing in. It's slightly lighter. And then uh, we'll put a heat shield on the bottom of this, if I can find it. It's under thermal, on it. thermal even. 
remember. Slap one of them underneath, and then we'll get a decoupler on it. I don't know if he's decoupled anyway. I can't remember, honestly. Um, so decoupler is on the coupling, which is there. I'm sure it's this one. No, not that one. This one. Yep, it's that one. And then we'll slap this little machine back onto it. And then raise the whole damn lot. See, the price doesn't change, even if you're making this thing slightly bigger. Let's get it dead on, like so. Right, grand. Then what we'll do is we'll put the capo on there. Uh, I won't bother putting drogue parachutes on or anything like that. Let's just keep it nice and light. Uh, in terms of the power, I'm sure I'm, I should be able to work with what I've got. I don't like sacrificing things, that sort of thing. That's super big. So we'll put the basic one on. 0.5 tons. What did I do with the cutouts? Flunk that right on the top. So now we've got the stabilizer on there. Let's see if we can get some science onto this. Because I know that the rocket can get up there, it can go. What's the fucking problem? I'm trying to think what the problem was before. I'll tell you what, I'm going to get a couple of batteries on here. Not three of them. Let's get a couple of extra batteries up the top. We need to transmit some data, so we'll just put one of these on. Might probably not be enough, but we'll see. Then, a wee science experiment, try and get this right up there, a wee thermometer and a wee pressure thing. It would be good to take this, and I think I will, science junior, slap that in there, slap that underneath. I don't think they can get out that sort of thing. get out of these things. I'll tell you what, we'll find out in a second. I'm going to save that as 1.6 because it's completely changed. And we'll, instead of call it the Mun Orbiter, I'll tell you what, we'll completely change all that and we'll call it the Mun, yeah, Mun Orbiter, that's what I meant. And, and this is version 1.0. I'll save it. And then we'll go out to the launch and then I'm going to see if we can Thingy. So yeah, let's have another look at the rest of these comments. Roscoe, I suggest getting into your settings and adjusting ambient light. Let's just see in the dark and gives the audience something to look at. Sorry, mate. Fucking hell, I didn't even realise that. Settings. Like apply. Ambient light. What's that fucking changing? I can't see anything. What the fuck was ambient light? Hmm. Oh, ambience, sorry. Ambient light burst. I'll just boost it all up, man. There we go. Uh, apply. Whoa, shit. Is that fucking too much? Maybe drop that down to about 70. This is probably something I could have done off camera, but we're here anyway. That's a bit better. Right, I hope that helps, guys. Um, cheers, Kim. Okay, so... Man, it looks sketchy as fuck, doesn't it? Let's see if we can. I just want to try something here. So we've got an engineer and a scientist. Really, we should have a pilot. But she's on the fucking mun, isn't she? So... And she, they can get in and they can board which is fine by me so what we'll do is revert flight back to the vehicle assembly and then I'll switch out the engineer for a pilot if we have any there we go there's one so engineer out 
pilot in and then we'll keep the scientists so that we can get extra extra science so we can reuse the science experiments or whatever. Okay, so basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to press R and T and we're just going to dive straight up there and we're going to try and get to the moon and then we'll take it from there now. Well, let me just see, I've got that on there, that shouldn't be there. Where's the bottom one? That's in two different parts. It should be there. And there's a rocket fucking engine there somewhere. Who the fuck's gonna do that? That goes down to there. Then we jettison that. And then... Top one. That goes there. Right, RT and throttle right up. And here we go. So we're just going bang, straight on up. Straight on up and out. And then we'll just take it from there. Uh, having a look around the rest of these comments. Uh, I don't understand what's happened with your second stage. Probably, possibly centre of mass. Open the fuel tanks menus and we'll set fuel plot. Oh, fuck, I've not done that. Uh, the engines will use the highest number of tank first. Use your bottom tanks first and your top tanks last. This keeps your uh, keeps your mass properly distributed towards the nose. Yeah, I know it's a bit of, but it beats reverberating. I think it's kind of going okay. Ah, oh, shit, I know what you're meaning. Right, I need to have a look at that when we're landed in. Um, I'll be able to work with it right now. Around 23 minutes in. As you're trying to get close to the Mun, the green line, uh, this is something that I fucking will need to read. The green line shows that you will fly by the Mun and leave its influence and head back to Kerberon on the brown line. If you want to orbit, wait until you get to Periapsis and fucking jettison them off. Right, and then I'm not going to fire that straight up, I'm going to have it half throttle. What the fuck is going on here? Fuck is that? What the fuck is going on? Don't worry guys, I've got this covered. We're using a newbie pilot. So, 45 degrees, I'm gonna be going about. No, I'm just going straight up. That's what we're doing. No, we're not. We're heading off to 90. We'll get there. We'll figure this shit out. <laughs> So we'll head about there. I'll slip this round a bit. I'll head into this view so I can see what kind of what's going on. Bring this up. And fire it like that until that's above 150. So I'll keep an eye on that and read this. Uh, if you want to orbit, wait until you get to periapsis, then fire retrograde to slow down enough to let the moon catch you. Firing far out from the Mon will adjust how far you encounter it. High orbit, low orbit, incline, smash into it will not help you establish orbit. If you want a flyby, you can fiddle with the manoeuvre node until you find a trajectory that takes you back to Kerbin atmosphere on the brown line. Fucking hell, mate, you seriously know your shit, by the way. Because then he goes into the warning complex data best suited to <laughs> best studied in the manual and good tutorials. Right, we'll figure that out in a minute. <laughs> Cheers, Kimmy. Much appreciated, mate. So if I get out to that 150 mark, probably 160, I'll sort all my shit out in a second. I'll stop it here. We'll wait until we're at apoapsis. So there's not many things on the site that tells you what they mean. Uh, yeah, if anybody's wanting to see like a complex data thing here, honestly, I don't even understand this game. Um, I'll need to have a proper look at, into it. But for anybody else that's wanting to know, have a look at the comment section. And Kim's put some good stuff in there. Ah, you now have your own smoking hole on the ground. Yeah, brilliant, mate. <laughs> uh, hey, no need to read all my bullshit, mate. It's no bullshit. Don't ever say that. It's all good stuff, mate. The learning is a bonus. Good 
stuff. Uh, Chirzara plays horror games. I dream of a day when I won't be too stupid to actually play this game. Mate, embrace the stupidity. Just go in for it. What's the worst that could happen? Do you know what I mean? You can get laughed off the internet. Who's going to care about that? Okay, so we're now heading off to this apoapsis. I'll have a look. Everybody seems to be doing fine in here. Is there any science data that we need from this? Let's have a look. Negatron. Like 1.2. It's not even worth getting out of bed for. Anyone here? Zilcho. 0.1. Not interested. I think I've already pretty much locked all this stuff here from the way up here. Actually, do you want to sound? Can, can they EVA? Ah, oh, they can. Good stuff. Uh, control from here. Okay, so as we head up to the apoapsis, um, we're going to start circling out because we've almost reached that 45 degree mark, which is here. And you know what, no Sam, we're not gonna I'm not gonna wait too long. I'm just gonna boost this up. Maybe just a slight dip on that, just slight or below the line. And then we'll wait until this kinda levels itself out. Look like shit, what's happening? There we go. Should be fine. have it. 143, 283, I mean I could make that go out bigger but that's fine. So we're now heading around this way I believe so I'm going to put a manoeuvre node somewhere in here so that I can maybe catch the mun. Eh uh, shit right here we go so let's see if we can swing this out a bit not that way. Yep, we can keep going with that. And there we go. Okay, so... Mun escape. Mun encounter. So when we encounter a mun at this stage, it will be just up in front of us. So we possibly may be able to speed up, I think, if that's... If I mind saying that, but we'll use a tremendous amount of fuel to get out to that stage. As a look at this, we need 762.2 meters per second of oomph. I'm going to call it oomph. I don't know what its technical term. And we have 1,405. So we'll leave some in the tank to play about with so that we can establish that orbit. But we still have 918 meters per second of oomph in the last stage. So let us... Uh, I am going to advance up to that stage. And what we're looking at is this little blue thing in my bob here. Like so, I am going to put this round ever so slowly by the looks of things. And we've got about a minute to get there. And we need about 18 seconds of full burn, I believe, in order to get that. So maybe about 20 seconds in, I will start the thrust on this to get us going. So that's just nice and steady there. Everything's looking kind of good. And with 25 we'll start going, we'll start. Here we go, nice steady. Almost on, bang on time. We're almost on cue. And I'll just keep adjusting this. And I'm gonna chase it. It's chasing it, it fucking breaks me. I'd like to get that perfect next time. There we go, it's done. Right, so that should give us an intersect. I believe. Uh, what we'll do is we'll just advance up to here. 
pass some time. Right now, what was that? What did you say, Kim? What did you say? Uh, the green line shows... What green line? Oh, right, so I take it, I'm not going to hit it just now. It will show your orbit. Wait until you get to... Par wait till you get to periapsis. If you want to orbit, wait till you get to periapsis, then file retrograde. I don't understand that, but I think I, I'm gonna I'm gonna just try and make something up here. I'm gonna push on to here and see, cause I don't think we're gonna hit the get the mun right now. The only way we'd be able to do it is if we were moving a little bit faster. But yeah, it's just kind of escaping us on this run here. So what we'll do is we'll just boost time a little bit. There's no point in fanning about the now. Pardon me. Until I start seeing, uh, until we start seeing it come back again. I don't know how many days we'll need to do this. I don't think we're going to get it on this run. Nope. Maybe the next again. Nope. Hang on a second, wait, I've just had a fucking idea. Right, I tell you what, I'm going to put this round to here, warp here. I'll get ready to press slash just in case. So I'm going to try and bring this down a little bit so that there is no fucking escape. So we're going to wait until we go to periapsis, then burn. I've no fucking idea what retrograde looks like. Oh, um, general flight? No, that's not flight, is it? Space travel, orbital definition. There we go. This is what we're looking for. Equatorial incline, prograde, orbit, retrograde. Right, anyway, yeah, no, I'll get that stuff. Apoapsis and periapsis. Yep, periapsis. Press on direct. Right, okay, so. Burn prograde, did you say? If we burn prograde, this is going to be a slightly longer fucking. T We're going to go for this. Um, if you want to uh, orbit, wait until you get to periapsis, then file retrograde, so the, the, that one, uh, to slow down enough to let the mun capture you. Fire in, fire out from the mun will adjust you how you encounter it. High orbit, low orbit, right, okay. Right, okay, I get you, I get you, I get you. So we're going to go for this, so I'm going to get to about here. I'm going to warp to here. I don't think we've got enough fuel for this, so that's the only thing. So... Oh shit, what the fuck happened there? I'm just trying to move it, it's so sluggish to freaking move right now. And... I don't think I'm going to get around in time, because it's on the other side. The... Retrograde. Which is here, and it slow down. Kill it. Kill it, just so we get fucking in line with it. Kill it, right, what the hell's going up there? Come on. Oh, wait, we're fucking missing it. No, we're not even going to get anywhere near it. Right, I'm just going to whip this round. Let's just whip it round and see what happens. I want a money encounter. encounter. So we're just basically fucking bashing on with this until something happens, until something sticks. Fuck knows how many times we'll need to orbit. We're in. There we go. I see it goes. It just fucking vanishes. How long do I have to fucking wait for this, man? There, is that us now? Right, we're going to encounter the man there. So I'm going to whip this round. We're going to go a little bit here. So I'm going to walk to there. Right, now I want to... What the fuck am I going to do? Right, I need to... Wait until we get to that, which we're almost at. And then I need to slow us down, I think, because we're going too fast. Right, I get you, I get you, I think I get you. Right, okay. I'm 
I've still got plenty of time, plenty of time to get myself sorted out here. And plenty of fuel, I believe, I think. We'll find out in a second, actually. Right, so we need this one. Once I can steady it out. Right, so what's going to happen here is we're going to... Right, it looks like I'm going to get ready to fucking slam into that thing. So, let's do it until we can get around it. Because it's going to pick me up, I believe. out just so I can see it. I don't want to get too close to it, so I'm going to fling this forward just a touch, maybe. Shit's moving. Because we want to be captured with the one, and I think we're going to get picked up by its gravity. Why does that look like us? Is that us? Yeah, there we go. Right, now we've been picked up by it. So now, what the fuck am I going to do? Um, I need to put myself in an orbit with it, because we are going into an orbit with it. But it's just a matter of getting that orbit. Why are we not fucking moving now? fuck's going on here? Lads. What the hell is going on here? Why can't I control this fucking thing? What the hell's going on? I'm not in control of the... Fucking rocket here, what the hell's going on? Alright, let's uh, slow that down for this time being. I'm going to quickly go to the space centre and then we'll come back up to them. Fuck's sake, man. Click on this. Where the hell are they? There they are. Right, yours. I want to fly. Like, fuck. Right, let's get this round. Let's put this back up. That's better. Right, I'm going to see... Right, do we need to slow down now, or do we need to speed up? That's... We're heading towards periapsis, so... Does the periapsis one fling us out further? No, it's... Right, we need to wait until we get to periapsis and... Is that just putting us in a, an orbit with Kerbin? Or does it? Right, there we go. And then, when we get to there, we'll go the other way. So I could probably do that there, so I'm going to warp to here. Fucking hell, I think I'm actually getting this. So yeah, I can only apologize, it's gonna be a long episode. I probably We'll get the we'll get the orbit first and then I'll I'll close off the recording and then we'll finish it off on the next one, just so they're not too long. I don't like make my episodes like half hour long or anything like that. So now I'm gonna switch this round to the other way to extend it out, no, because it will whip it round the other way, won't it? So let me just, let me just see what happens here. Well, we're 
we're trying to do is bend our arm around until we're looking at something that looks like it could be constituted as an orbit. And one that doesn't look like it's going to send us off into space. And we've done it. I've fucking done it. I'm not going to jettison the fuel or anything like that. I'm going to get nice and close. So I'm going to have a look at the mission criteria, orbit the moon, and then thing it. And then what this wanted me to do is transmit data from the moon. So what we'll do is we'll go for the scientist. Scientist goes out. Uh, let's do for an EVA report. Keep the experiment. And then we'll store that. Even though it doesn't mean anything, we'll board. And then the crew report. And then just transmit. And that should clear off that one, which it has. And then the stored one, I'll just... How are we doing for power anyway? Yeah, it's taking a little bit, but we'll just fucking punch it. Oh, I should have just ditched it, actually, and saved power. But it's done now. Now let's have a look at these science experiments as we work ourselves around the moon. So I'm going to keep that experiment. I'm going to observe the mystery of these things. Oh, it's fucking ten, man. It's not even... It's not even worth the effort. What about that? Lock of temperature? Air pressure even? None. And none. And where the hell are we? High over the moon. Do we need to get lower then? Is that what it's wanting us to do? Because <laughs> I need to recover all this anyway, so... I tell you what, I'm going to put us down into a nice... A nice low orbit. I'm going to warp to there. I'm going to try and see if we can get this a little bit more smooshy. Smooshy being the word. We're now on at 32 minutes, Roscoe. I know I'm fully aware of the time here. Basically, we want to be close enough so that we can wave to Valentina as we pass her. And I want to kind of get them both under 100. Enough so that I can say that we're on a kind of low mun orbit and everything seems to be kind of leveling out almost. Bosh. We could probably get that smaller for warp to there as well. Okay, and then we'll. Right, let's just have a look at the science experiments now, see what they're saying. Like that one, log temperature. It's still saying we're high over the moon. Uh, reset. Uh, observe. Yeah, it's still saying that we're high over the moon. I mean, how? what's fucking low moon orbit all about then? Unless I don't have a mission for that. Maybe we could go a little bit lower, just while we're here. I, mean, I don't think we're going to fucking crash, that's for sure. Nice baby steps, so... 70. What's happening here? Take it we can't get lower. Or is that as low as it wants us to go? Nope. There, now that's getting low. That's like super low now. So, let's whip it round. Right, 23. <laughs> But 
Wait, let's try it now. Observe. Near the one. Right, now we've got it. 75. Keep that. Bosh. And the reset that goo canister. And observe the mystery goo. Keep that for 30. Fuck me, that's loads. Temperature, log temperature. Keep. I don't think we can keep all this stuff. You know that log. Keep experiment. Take the crew report. I could transmit that for 15. Go for it. And... Crew report. Yeah, it doesn't give us anything more. But what we'll do is... Head into here, or sorry, we'll use the scientist, EVA. He can do that one, EVA re report. Keep the experiment. And I'm going to try, I'm going to store that one. Store. So I'm going to fucking do that. Uh, take data. I don't want to fucking let go of this thing. But it's on the other side. Shit. Uh, what's that one? I can't get. I can't get to it. And I don't want it to let go. So I'm getting ready to press B. Come on, man. Grab it. Fucking hell. Come on, that's got the money in it, man. See, he's kind of sliding off. As I'm trying to right-click. Shit. He's fucked. Oh my fucking god. Sign is down. See, it doesn't let you fucking control him. I don't know how to use the propellant. I don't understand what this fucking shit's all about. Why is it not EVA propellant? Why is it not? It's not you control the fucking dude. Dude, honestly, what the fuck is going on here? Is it understands? Where's the controls? Let's uh, do a quick search here. Uh, Carol. Jetpack. Watch this, it'll be fucking something stupid. Press R to open it. Bingo, that's what we're looking for. Right, collect that data. Remove the data. And restore it. Fucking finally. Store it. Bosh! Right, now we're fucking doing it. Christ, I nearly lost this dude. Collect the data. Remove data. I'm gonna bother about restoring it, I just need you to store. You got an EVA for me? Keep the data. Yay. Mint. Right, the only thing I didn't get was. You can restore that. Keep it. 
Let's see if we can store our shit then. Bosh, there we go, fucking hell. Right, now we need to grab onto this thing. Grab it. Where's the fucking handle? Where'd you get in? Then tell me once you're out, you're out. Alright guys, I'm going to call an end to the episode here. That's been going on for long enough. We'll just pick this straight up on the next episode from this position. If you've enjoyed it, please remember to give it a like. If you've got any comments or suggestions, please get them in the comments box below. And as always, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And hopefully by the next episode, we'll have this guy back in here and then we'll get back to Kerbin. Until then, I'll speak to you all later, guys. Bye-bye.